Hi everybody, I'm Brian Elmore with Central Kentucky Sonar and today I'm going to discuss electronics updates and how to do them. I get a lot of questions on forums and just people emailing and asking, you know, can I do it on a MacBook? Yes you can uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that and how to do it on a Windows. Um, there's certain steps you need to follow for the Helix as opposed to a Solix and I'll show you how to s what the difference is between the two. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're at the computer and the first thing we want to do is to insert an SD card into your card reader. And the SD card cannot be bigger than 32 gigabytes. You don't have to format it, you don't have to do anything like that. Um, just make sure that it's unlocked and the slide switch is towards the top to unlock that. And on the, I'm on a MacBook right now and I'll show the windows in a little bit, but right now my SD card is called No Name. So I'm going to minimize that and then go to Safari and I want to go to the Humminbird website and here's their main page and then we're going to hover over support and then go to software updates. So here we're going to scroll down and here's the list of the units on the left showing what's available. Click on that and I'm going to do my Helix 10 and it'll take me to that. Now what this is is a software description showing what's being fixed from previous updates and any new added features in the update. Um, this gives your software pre prerequisites and there it shows the 32 class 10 and the instructions on how to do this. And here you'll see that there's a short video on how to do it but it's an older video and that's why I'm doing an updated version. So what we want to do is we want to click on the download button and there you see up in my status bar the download progress. So I'm going to go back to my finder here and you can see downloads and right now it's downloading the Helix 10. So it grayed out and now it's highlighted so it is complete. And what we want to do is, is just click on it and drag it to the SD card. That's it. So we're going to click on no name and you can see it there, it just completed. So now what we want to do is we want to eject the SD card and we'll take it to the unit and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But since we're here, I'm going to show you the how to do a Solix because it's a little different. N just one more extra step really. And we're going to go back to software updates and scroll down until we find the Solix and we'll do a Solix 12 SI. Um, here it's going to ask you if you're networked with an Onyx unit. If you are then they don't recommend that because they will no longer network together once you do this update. I don't plan to, uh, to connect or network with an Onyx unit so I'm going to click here and then it kind of gives me a confirmation that I'm not going to and then I'm going to continue to the update. Now again, this is just a software description and goes through and tells you all the new features that are added in this update, which is a pretty good size update. It's all a whole new operating system. Uh, different added features that it has. And the prerequisites again, there again, the SD card size and the instructions. And we're gonna click the download again. And my progress bar. So go back to Finder and Downloads. Now what I did was I'd already downloaded this because this takes quite a while to download. So I want to right click on that and I want to open it with the Unarchiver. This is a kind of a zip folder so we're going to extract these files out and we'll just put it to the desktop and it's extracting these files. Now 
So here's my files. What you don't want to do is just drag this over to your SD card. It's not going to work. Your your unit will never um, show that there's an update available. You want to open this up and here you will see these files listed here. So what you want to do is you want to click on all of them and to do that you can click the first one, go to the bottom, hold the shift button down and then click the bottom and and they're all highlighted in blue. That gets all of them and what you want to do is take those files and drag them to your SD card. And again it's going to copy all those to it and you'll see the status bar and this will take just a little bit to do. After this is complete you just want to do the same thing and you want to eject the SD card and then you can go install that in your unit and I'll show you that as well. Okay, so now for the Windows side of things. Now I'm running Parallels on a MacBook, which still gives me the op the It lets me run Windows on my MacBook. So I'm going to show you this. So we've already gone to Hummingbird, we've downloaded our updates, and here we have the Helix and the Solix, which is the same ones I showed you earlier. And there's my SD card. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Helix 10 and drag it over and drop it in. That's it. It's going to show you uh, copying down and progress bar, percentage complete, and we're done. And you can see here it is complete. So now we go back to downloads and for the Solix it's the same thing as earlier. You have to extract the files. You cannot just take this and drag it over. It's, it's not going to work. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it and you're going to hit extract all. And it's going to create a folder which is going to be in your downloads and you're going to just hit extract. And it's going to go through and extract all these files and put them in individual folders or files that you need to make this work. So we'll give that just a second and it's almost done here. All right, so now what you see is there's the zip folder we unzip, or the compressed file we unzip. Here is the folder. It says it's a file folder. You want to double click that and then it's going to open up and show you one, two, ten files. So you want to click on the top one just once, go to the bottom, hold your shift key down, and click on the bottom one. And what that does, it highlights all of them so you can move them all at once. Then again, we're going to click on it and drag it to our SD card. And then again, there's your update bar, your progress window with complete. There, now once that's finished, you'll open it up and you'll see that I have these individual files in here. And then we're gonna eject this. I'm sorry, we gotta go down here to the bottom on mine, on this, and we're gonna disconnect. And on the windows, it may just say eject on it. And that's it, and now we're gonna take it over, take the SD card to our units, and we'll go through the update process on those. All right, so now to update the unit yourself. So what we're going to do is we're going to power the unit on. And I've got this inside on a power source, so I don't have to do this outside. And I can mess with my units inside when it's bad weather. So the first thing you want to do is hit the menu twice and scroll over to setup. Then scroll down to restore defaults use the right arrow button and hit yes and that'll take it back to factory defaults it'll still save your waypoints tracks and things like that now what I usually do which I don't really think it says in the instructions but it's a precaution that I take I power it down after that Then I power it back up with the defaults. So it starts off as a clean reset. 
So I'll go wait for the startup again, hit the menu, click the normal, hit the exit button, and then there's the that, and we're just going to hit exit. So now that it's fully powered up, we're going to take our update and insert it into the unit. And of course you're going to read this and what you want to do is it's just saying that it's going to replace the software from 1.64 with version 1.900 and we're going to hit yes and then no to abort the software. Now it's going to go through the update process, it'll fly some colors, it'll tell you to leave the power on and updating software until eventually it'll power down and then power back up. And that won't take very long, it'll take just a minute to do all that. So now you can see at the top it says the current software version is 1.9, there is no update required. So you can remove the update SD card, hit the exit, and it'll tell you, it'll be like you got it fresh from the factory. Uh, you'll have to pick your, your language, your max depth, your water type, and it'll tell you what transducer is connected or should be that came with the unit. You can hit exit on that. You go to hit the menu twice, and now you have to go through and reset all your pages, uh, map sources, sonars, clear modes, anything like that, any alarms that you originally had set. And you'll have to do this with each one of your units individually. And you go through and set your views, whether you're visible or hidden. And after that, after you set everything up, you can power it down and uh, put it back on your boat or start it up from your boat if you don't take yours off and uh, go fishing. That's it. That's all there is to an update. Not that hard. If you got any questions or comments about the video, leave them below. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell for future notifications. As always, have a good day. Thank you.